Oh, <laughs> do you ever notice that sometimes when you sneeze, you have a lot of snot and sometimes you don't? Well, did you know that the average adult lung capacity is about six litres, which means our snot-producing capabilities are rather low in comparison to another mammal, such as a whale, which can have a lung capacity of over a thousand litres. In fact, by collecting whale snot, we are able to gather a snapshot of a whale's health, as this contains information such as DNA, hormones and bacteria. But how exactly do we collect whale snot? Well, I found out that current methods involve being on a boat with a long pole and a petri dish at the end of this, holding this over a whale's blowhole and waiting for them to ugh, breathe. But this can be dangerous, as an 80-tonne whale could easily flip a boat and stressful, not only for the whale, but also for the researchers involved. So the question I wanted to ask in my PhD is what is the best non-invasive method for collecting whale snot for an assessment of whale health? In order to do so, I collaborated with drone experts in industry, and together we designed and built a waterproof drone with petri dish for collecting whale snot from northward migrating humpback whales of Sydney, Australia. Once a whale or pod of whales was sighted, we launched a drone from the back of our boat. Then once in position, the petri dish lid would open. Then as a whale took a breath, the drone was flown through the densest part of the whale's snot. Immediately after, the lid was shut, securing the sample and minimising contamination as the drone was flown back to the research vessel. Overall, we conducted 74 flights and successfully collected 59 samples of whale snot from at least 48 different whales. We were able to identify different whales based upon the unique colours and scar patterns observed through the drone's camera. I then used forensic techniques to try and identify the types of bacteria living in whale lungs. And interestingly, I found these whales shared similar bacteria with northern hemisphere whales and some dolphins. But I also found out that we can use this information to help monitor the recovery of these magnificent creatures post-whaling. Overall, my research is revolutionising the way in which we collect health information from whales around the world. This method is a much safer and less stressful alternative for both whales and researchers. So the next time you sneeze or pick your nose, think about how scientists are using drones to collect whale snot for conservation. Thank you.